So part of this is actually finding out what do we mean by talent, because you know, we assume the talent is where our lead, the, the talent in the organisation is where our leaders are coming from. The trouble is again, we don't know what talent is. The only critical factor we can identify, or the only time that, that managers appear to be effective at identifying talent, is when the talented person is like them. Um, and essentially what we've identified is, is lots and lots of biases. If you're, if you're male, you're obviously much more talented than if you're female. Yeah. Um, it, the, the stereotype, it, it, it works out. If you're tall, if you're blue-eyed, you are less talented than if you're brown-eyed. That's if you're a man. I'm not sure, what, 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 but I don't think there's any data about men, women. It's, <coughs> if, you, <coughs> if, you're, um, no, uh, if you don't make mistakes, you are seen as more talented than somebody who does. And yet, what do we want in organisations? We want people who do make mistakes and learn from them. Uh, one, <clears throat> one, one, one of the uh, um, uh, ideas that we've, we've seen in lots of organisations now, is, uh, and, and, and leadership teams in particular, is what we call cock-up of the month. Where you, where, where you reward people within the team for, for, um, uh, for the best mistake that they've made. Not the mistake, of course, not the mistake itself, but the learning they've extracted from the mistake and are able to share with everybody else. Very effective process of actually getting honesty with conversations. Um, so we, 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 we have all these biases, we don't actually know who our talent are. And part of the problem is we that, that, we, that because the, the requirements are changing, the more that we try and define, well, this is what talent is, <clears throat> just like the competencies, we, we, we actually reduce the diversity from which we can draw. And in a complex adaptive system, we need to have ma maximum diversity, or as much diversity as possible, so that if there's a new job role or a new need that comes up, we've got people with different competencies, different skills, different combinations of strengths, who can spot into those roles. If we've only got people who fit to a competency framework, we are actually basically giving ourselves organizational arthritis. We're reducing the diversity that we, diversity that we need. Um, you know, um, so here's a question for you to think about. You know, what biases might be at work in your company? Yeah.